bring in Ryan Rashog. A crowd can only carry you so far, and so we know it will be decided on the ice. And so you have a Panthers team desperately searching for answers, and one Oilers star looking himself squarely in the mirror, Ryan. Yeah, definitely, James. You know, Leon Draisaitl is one of the best playoff performers of all time. 1.48 points per game. He's got 170 points in his 72 games. Among all players who have played at least 50 playoff games, that's fourth. Those are incredible numbers, but admittedly, his game has not been there on the biggest stage in the Stanley Cup final. Just a couple of assists, no goals in his last seven games. And so on a night where you know the Florida Panthers are going to be bringing it, you know they're going to elevate. Perhaps the single biggest elevation for the Oilers could be if Dreisaitl finds his game. But on the day of the biggest game of the year, the Oiler leader more than willing to look squarely into the mirror and speak squarely into the microphone with some accountability. Obviously not happy with the way I'm playing, um, you know, haven't found my game, um, you know, haven't found my legs and um, yeah, just not the standard that I hold myself to, uh, obviously, but I've always been able to come back from from stretches where, you know, I, I maybe haven't been at, at my best and um, yeah, it's just it's just myself. Um, you know, being better and uh, like I said, I hold myself to extremely high standards and um, if I don't get to that, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with it. He obviously does put a lot of pressure on himself. He expects a lot of himself and I think that's what makes him so good. But I think he's got to realize that uh, even if he's not feeling great, he's still better than 99% of the guys out there. So um, he's, he's been awesome and I think, uh, uh, yeah, I think he's just got to keep playing the way he is. Leon puts a lot of pressure on himself. Um, I think the best players always want to be the best and um, expect a lot out of themselves. And, um, you know, I've seen Leon play better than he has, but I think he's been contributing a lot, and I think he's harder on himself than he should be. He is the first person to the rink every single day, whether that's for the game or practices. He's sometimes at the rink an hour before anybody else shows up. Um, you know, he loves the game. He's very critical about himself because he expects himself to be really good every single day. Um, you know, sometimes that can be hard on a guy because he's too critical. Our mindset hasn't changed. I think our belief hasn't changed. I think the narrative's changed. I think that's kind of an outside perspective where you're down 3 nothing, and the belief inside the room is we can do this, but the belief outside the room is these guys are done. And then obviously you win a game and then the belief outside the room grows and you win another game and it's like, well, they can't lose at home now. Right? That's the outside belief, right? But I think in, internally, um, it's excitement um, amongst the group, and it's just a, an internal belief that has remained steadfast from when we were down 3 nothing. James, we know it's going to be nuts in this building. Which team does a better job of managing the moment, managing the emotions, and gets off to a good start? We'll have a huge advantage. Some subtle tweaks from the Florida Panthers. Oliver ekman Larson moves to the top power play unit. Nick Cousins, a rambunctious, gritty forward, draws in. As far as the Oilers go, status quo. Evander Kane not on the ice today after giving it a go yesterday. Not a good sign, James, that number 91 may be available at any point in this series moving forward.